A very good day to Dr. Siti Zarina, Dr. No Faiza, Ante Mohammad Helmi, and my SB, Dr. Razi. I'm Leo Yong with metric number AE170149. Today, I'm going to present about my FYP2 project with the title Development of a Button Mushroom Detection and Measurement System. Now, I'm going to start by the introduction. From the research in 2019, it has shown that human overpopulation has been increased between the 19th century to the 21 century. And in 2020, it will reach almost 7.8 billion of world population. The increase in population will cause problems such as climate change and food shortage. The way to solve the food shortage problem is to produce more food than enough for everyone. Vegetables are the great choice as the food. Among all vegetables, button mushrooms are recognized as one of the vegetables with high nutrition value and easily to grow. In past, farmers are required to check from time to time to observe mushroom size, which is waste of time and human resources. The implementation of robotic system to monitor and harvest mushroom can be realized to increase the production efficiency. However, there are several technology requirements need to be developed, such as grow measurement system, monitoring system, and robotic harvest mechanism. The objective of this project is to develop a button mushroom detection and measurement system. The project is divided to three main sections, which is software development, hardware development, and evaluation. Software development is to develop a button mushroom detection and measurement system using CNN algorithm model, which is YOLO v4. Hardware development is to develop a hardware system which is able to implement the proposed system utilizing a camera like this figure. The evaluation is to evaluate the performance of the button mushroom detection and measurement system through a controlled small-scale field experiment. For the project scope, my project scope is to use YOLO v4 algorithm to build button mushroom detection and measurement system. A total of 540 button mushroom sample images are used for training in Google Collab. 540 images consist of 20 images which are original image taken from Google Image, and 520 images are the image generated by using the data argumentation technique. In final year project 1, software system consists of mushroom identification and measurement capability is developed. The system will then undergo experiment. The experiment result shows the system are able to identify, locate, and measure the size of mushroom in pixel. In this final year project 2, a laptop with an external webcam is set up with a small scale button mushroom field, which its function is to test the designer program in real environment. The laptop that used in this project is MSI GL62M 7RDX with Intel i7 8 gb RAM for processor and NVIDIA GeForce GTX 1050 with 8 gb RAM for graphic processing unit. The program will be running using Python 3 which is installed in the MSI laptop. The experiment is to show the system able to identify the mushroom, locate its position, and calculate the estimated size of button mushroom. I would like to move on to methodology. There are six procedures in methodology. The first one is obtain button mushroom images from internet for training purpose. Then those images will undergo data argumentation process for produce more images for training. Those button mushroom in image will be labeled manually using a notation tool which is labeling. After that, the image will use as input to train the system. When training is complete, a more suitable train model will be used for the system. The system will then undergo an experiment in small scale button mushroom field. Data argumentation is often used to obtain more images or data to improve computer vision system performance. It will randomly flip, crop, and rotate the original image and transform it into a new image. The table below shows the parameter which is used in setting the data argumentation. The image below shows one of the image before and after going data argumentation process. After that is create label and annotation. Label and annotation image is important before turning the image into dataset for training purpose. To create label and annotation for button mushroom image, labeling is used in this project. 
in this image, green color square box is the label for the object, and over here is the object marked as mushroom class. After getting the data set, we can now proceed with training. The system is trained by using the pre-trained weight for the convolution layer for the YOLO before network. The pre-trained weight is to help in developing a more accurate system and fasten the training process. Before you start our training, some important parameters need to be set, which is shown in the table. This will be the finding for the best train model, which is done during FIP1. The model with the 2000 irritation has the shortened detection system, highest F1 score, and second highest in recall and precision. The value is only differed by 0 0.02 and 0 0.01 compared to the 5000 iteration result. The model with 2000 iteration also having the highest MAP, hence the model with 2000 iteration is the most suitable model for the system. Next will be the size measuring method using in the system. The formula is used to estimate the size of detected button mushroom for the system. The data will be collected and saved into a CSV file. Other than that, the data collected from experiment will undergo analysis. The estimated size for each button mushroom will be compared with the actual size to obtain the percentage error. The percentage error is calculated using the equation as shown in the slide. This will be the hardware flow chart for my FIP2 project in the small scale field. The hardware system consists of a small scale button mushroom field, a MSI GL62M laptop, and Enabus webcam 1080p as the camera. The button mushroom detection and measurement system, which is developed using YOLO v4 in a Python script, will be operated using MSI laptop. This will be the image for the small scale field experiment. The rack for the webcam is built by using slotted angle bar with the dimension 65 cm for height, 100 cm for length, and 50 cm for the wide. For the small scale button mushroom field, it has dimension of 30 cm for height, 56 cm for length, and 42 cm for wide. The small scale button mushroom field is filled up with organic soy in order to glow the white button mushroom. Before running through the experiment, the system needs to undergo calibration, which able to estimate the detected button mushroom size. By referring to the equation, the scale ratio R need to be obtained for the system for it to able to estimate actual size of the detected button mushroom. From the data obtained by the system, the ratio, the scale ratio that used to estimate the actual size of the detected button mushroom is 0 0.005156. Now I'd like to move on to the result part. There are three different button mushroom small scale field being conducted in this experiment. Figure in the left side shows the original image of button mushroom that captured using the system in the first button mushroom small scale field experiment. The right image, right side image shows the image of button mushroom which is detected and localized by the detection and measurement system. Table shows the result produced by the detection and measurement system after predict, after done the prediction in the first experiment. The following image and table are for experiment 2 and 3. To evaluate the performance of the hardware system, these three experiments with different small scale button mushroom field is tested. Each experiment data is collected, analyzed, has been done to find the percentage error between expected result and actual result. This will be the evaluation table for the first small scale experiment. This will be the evaluation table for second small scale experiment. Lastly, this will be the evaluation table for third small scale experiment. As the result, the button mushroom detection and measurement system has detected all the button mushroom on the image and output the detection image. The data such as height, weight, and estimated area is produced by the detection and measurement system after prediction. From table, the maximum percentage error is 4.81% and minimum percentage error is 0.09%. Since all the percentage error result for each button mushroom is below 5%, the result is acceptable. Now I would like to demonstrate my project. My left side file will be the application file. The right side will save the result. 
first by entering cmd and use the python darknet fyp.py it will run through all the program it will show the image of the butter mushroom and space we come out the result and space is just complete for and this file will save the original and the result photo and a excel file for the name white height area of the recorded result for the conclusion the button mushroom detection and measurement system was able to detect localize and measure the size of each button mushroom the capture image and images with prediction of button mushroom are saved in specific file for future review the data such as height white and predicted data produced by the system will be saved in excel file the server experiment setup has been made to test the performance and workability of system in hardware the predicted data has also compared with the actual data to show accuracy of the system as in these three experiments, it shows the percentage HRO are all below 5%, we match the result acceptable. All the objective for this project has been achieved. Although butter mushroom detection and measurement system is able to help farmer to monitor the amount and size of butter mushroom, but the final solution to reduce the time consuming and human resources in harvesting butter mushroom is by creating an automated harvesting machine. The mushroom detection and measurement system in this project is one of the technological requirements to develop an automated harvesting machine. For future work that can improve this project is by creating robotic harvesting mechanism to harvest bottom mushroom. Other than that, the automated harvest machine can be can use communication method such as Internet of Things and Wi-Fi for the farmer to monitor their bottom mushroom. Feel from time to time. That's all from me. Thank you.